Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. We've been going through the book of Proverbs, and I don't know about you, but for me, this wisdom is just so practical. Uh, in fact, here's a few questions to set you up for today's wisdom from God. Uh, do you want to live a long life? Do you want to have your needs met? Do you want your name to be an honorable name when people hear your name? Uh, how about your kids or grandkids? Do you want them to live for the Lord? Uh, here's another one. How about being protected from danger? Well, believe it or not, in just four verses today, we're going to hear some really, really life-changing wisdom that answers all those questions and helps in all those things. Let's invite the Spirit of God to speak to us right now as we open the Word of God in Proverbs chapter 22. I'm just going to read you verses 3 through 6 and allow the Holy Spirit to really show you which one of these applies to you today. Verse three says this, a prudent person foresees danger. They see that the road they're on leads to danger and they take precautions. But the simpleton goes blindly on. They run right into the danger and they suffer the consequences. Maybe God's showing you in your life, the Holy Spirit's revealing to you an area where you're on a path that if things don't change, there's going to be danger, but you could kind of board up your house before the hurricane, as it were. Verse 4 says this, true humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. What does? True humility and the fear of the Lord. Verse 5, corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will avoid it. Don't be a corrupt person. Don't be dishonest. Don't surround yourself with corrupt or dishonest people. They will make life a lot more difficult. Verse 6, direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. We can't make our kids choose God, but we can use all the time and energy and resources we have to point them to God, and we can pray that they'll choose God for themselves. And there's this promise, even when they're older, even when you've gone home to heaven, there will be Bible verses, Bible stories, principles of God that will still be in their mind and in their heart. And I know many people who it was later in life that they returned to God. So never give up praying for and pointing your kids and grandkids to Jesus. I will see you tomorrow for some more Daily Hope.